A scuba mask. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. We're, we're underwater. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the episode of Last Day Order Survival. Today, we return and welcome to the end of season one. Take a gander over here at the very bottom of everything, and you're going to notice something that's missing. That's right. Season one is officially over, but where is season two? Well, we don't entirely know. By the looks of it, it does not appear that season two is going to be starting immediately after season one. But there is some very interesting stuff that has to do with the end of season one that we still got to go ahead and go over. Hopefully, you guys are all having an absolutely fan for fantastic day. By the way, of the most amazing Friday, that will get more fan for fantastic from here on out today. Oh, baby, we got a good raid in store. But look at this. The shipwreck is still here. There is no timer on top of it. And we can still drive over here. This is mysterious. Why is the shipwreck still here? Is this going to be like staying with us after season one? Is this going to be like a remnant of season one and be left over on the map? Is this something new? Oh, uh, well, I'm, I don't know what I'm seeing so far. The helicopter dude's still over here. What up, helicopter? It does appear that the shipwreck event is still here, but nothing too much has changed about it we can still go into the water over here and actually check this out we brought a little scuba mask over here so you know we could be a little bit in theme this time around just boop 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 the only area and i don't know if this is going to be disappearing after season one is officially over and they potentially update the game to remove all season one stuff or if this stuff is going to be left over but we do know that this is currently the only area in the entire last day on earth world besides like oh baby maybe like that one basement or whatever you call it uh oh look at that nice submerged chopper over here but this is the only area in last day on earth with water that you can actually go into besides some basements that have some shallow water but this actually does have a little bit of deep water to its disposal and i I wanted to have a little bit of a brainstorm here as well because i was thinking back and i wanted to for this grand finale of the shipwreck because now that season one is over this is could very well be our very last moments ever stepping foot into here and i'm gonna be completely honest i expected this to be gone by now so the fact that it's still here is a pretty amazing but i wanted to try and give something a go because i actually remember a chopper glitch from a while back where there are actually some bases and i've managed to do this before as well there are some bases that you can glitch into the walls of using your chopper if you get off at the proper spot and i was wondering if we might actually be able to glitch across this little wall over here but for some reason my guy is getting off on the wrong side so hopefully i'm crossing my fingers if we actually position our chopper the other way that we might be able to do what i'm trying to do because there is this little trick with the chopper i think i actually did it in the northern base over in where the oak forests are and stuff like that but if you kind of get your chopper in the right position in the right spot and actually step out you can go ahead and did we do it did we do it oh let's freaking go baby look at this we managed to do it we have crossed over into the unknown the abyss oh baby i don't want to be getting my swat i don't want to get none of this stuff dirty over here just me and a little bit of scuba mask oh baby look at that look at that we're, we're underwater <laughs> dude i cannot believe that this actually worked look at it look at me look at me i'm just over here swimming a little bit you can just see my goofy little head the scuba mask jutting out and above and all that oh man this is glorious but i got a sneaking suspicion that we're not supposed to do this but dude i am freaking stoked that that freaking hunch actually paid off because i literally remember being able to glitch into a steel base before using the chopper because at times the chopper can be used and we've done it in some other interesting scenarios as well we've literally used it to glitch into the police station before as well in some of the secret rooms in the police station like the chopper is so sent was it the chopper or was that the generator actually one of the two, I'm not 100% sure, but I do remember the fact that the chopper is capable of literally gl helping you glitch through certain barriers, and it appears that the barrier of the shipwreck is one such area that you are able to glitch through, and, well, here you can see me in all of my scuba mask glory, let's freaking go, dude, I love the fact that the water over here actually gets deeper as well, and this is so interesting on Kafir's part, because this is why I'm a little bit intrigued by this extra, like, extra more than usual, is the fact that you're not technically supposed to be able to get here, but Kafir gave this area of the map the attention to detail to actually continue getting deeper and deeper and allow your person to continuously boop, boop, 
look at that just popping my head out from underwater continuously get more and more submerged like look at me just dun 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 oh yeah, we're definitely not supposed to be over here. I can't imagine we're supposed to be able to see ourselves peeking out from under there. But, dude, this is incredibly freaking cool. And I'm so stoked that this paid off. And is there any, like, secret stuff over here? I kind of want to explore a little bit and use my expertise and see if maybe... Ooh, I wonder... Hmm, okay, hold on. I want to mess around with my chopper a little bit more over here as well. Because we can glitch our way back over to the chopper. But I wonder if this will actually work further down the line and maybe... Maybe I can't get off my bike here unfortunately or there so you really like got to do it in like a good spot to be able to like pay it off or for it to oh baby okay dang no we can't get back there that's what I was trying to do I'm trying to see if maybe we might be able to like glitch our way through these rocks and see what's on the other side of the shipwreck you know what I mean? Unfortunately, it appears that the game yells at us that, yo, you can't do that. That's a cheat thing. That is illegal. You are not allowed to get off of there, which is very unfortunate news for me because I was really hoping we'd be able to get off there, man. Dang. Maybe I could, like, try to get off into the ship. Maybe, like, over into... Maybe over in this hole where they chill. Are there any other areas where we might be able to kind of get past some of the barriers that the game has in store? Come on. Let me in the hole, baby. Let me in the hole. Okay, I do not think that they're going to let me in the hole. And I don't really see, like, it looks like the rocks are a little bit too solid. So for the most part, the bike's main usage with this little trick is going to be with mainly going to come with crossing invisible barriers, such as the ones that we find that I parked this thing the wrong way. And you got to make sure to park it the right way as well, because apparently your guy tends to get off on the, his left. Yes, his left side. That's what I was going to call it. So let's go ahead and try to switcheroo that really quickly. And let's see if we can maybe get our way back over there one more time. Because I'm trying to see if, like, there's a certain, like... No, there's no way that we could do that. Do we get anything special for running out of bounds over here where there's, like, ocean? Yes? No? Maybe so? Ah! Come on, baby! Let me let, let me spawn in the ocean. Let me be swimming to Bunker Charlie. Come on, last day on Earth. I know you want to give it to me. No, I don't think that they do. And if we re-enter the area over here... I'm guessing we're just going to spawn in normally. Nothing too special. So it looks like this little trick is mainly that. It's a trick. It doesn't really give you anything cool besides the fact that you're literally able to chill over there. And if you have a scuba mask, I mean, hey, you know, we're able to chill over there and be in theme. And it's kind of an interesting preview as well. And that's why I'm really intrigued by this is because the fact that they do have those water levels that kind of increase in submergence and you can literally see yourself getting submerged in the water has me interested for future water locations, especially the swamp when that comes over in the West. Since we know that the swamp is going to be having some form of water that you're going to be able to go into from some of the gameplays that we have seen of it. There are water levels. Now, I'm not sure that they go as deep as what we kind of encountered after passing through that invisible wall but nonetheless it is something and of course it does bring up the question of water locations and potentially with the scuba mask being able to use it at this secret dock event whenever this bad boy decides to get added as well although this has been teasing us ever since this northern area was added and nothing's been done with it so my expectations are unfortunately very low for this which Boah, boah, it does make me sad. But hey, maybe Kafir will finally give us a location to go over here. Maybe repair that little boat and go on little fishing expeditions. And from what we saw over here at the shipwreck, before it disappears forever, there's some very interesting water mechanics and water physics at work that I would love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below about. What do you guys think about that which we encountered over there? What do you think about the fact that the wrecked ship continues to exist even after the season's over? Do you guys think that... This will potentially be a permanent location that might evolve, or do you think that we're simply an update away from the wrecked ship totally just disappearing from the map? Or do you guys think that it will stay and maybe in the next update, you know, it'll be slightly different and kind of more of a permanent location kind of in line with like the motel or something, you know? I don't know. I'm very intrigued by the fact though that it didn't disappear off the map because like, this is why it's interesting. Kafir has had limited time events like anniversary events and stuff that disappeared at a certain time, which is exactly what the wrecked ship should have been doing. But it hasn't, which just has me thinking and interested that this could be a bit more of a permanent addition even after season one has run its course. And of course, season one is now over. But that does bring to question, where is season two? 
And the answer is, unfortunately, we don't know. Last we have heard, the second big content update Kafir did have planned for Last Day on Earth. The first one, of course, being the Season 1 update. The second one that they did have planned is likely going to be the Season 2 update, where we have been going over a lot of stuff that does point towards the addition of the ATV being a potential, like, a very big, like, milestone, like a central pillar to the season two update and what it could encompass for a lot of reasons not to just mention like we've gone over it a lot more in depth but there are a lot of things including this like opening soon section over here and even on other hints and teasers that kafir has dropped in the past that kind of does lead us to believe that season two could very well be that atv update and give us the ability to go and get the final piece of the atv the transmission but unfortunately until we know more concrete stuff for now it just appears that season one is over and we are patiently awaiting season two and at least for now the wrecked ship continues to exist which definitely has my interest caught just a little bit hello jane how are you doing today well i got some nuts and bolts for you jane i got a question though can today finally be the day that you decide to give me the leviathan skin that i've been trying to get from you for like the past bajillion years ladies and gentlemen boys and girls please smash the like button and give us the support we need to have jane Give us this skin already, man. Come on, Jay. No whammy, 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 no <laughs> One day, Jane, one day you'll give me that Leviathan skin, but today is obviously not the day that you are coming home with me, precious. My precious, please come home with me, Leviathan. <laughs> I want it. But unfortunately, as you guys are seeing, we cannot have it. But that's okay. We do have some other good stuff that we can't have, including some stuff like the chopper event and other things like that. And the continued the shipwreck event that still, ow, still appears to exist, which is still very much so kind of catching me off guard. And like I'm saying, let me know what you guys think about the continued existence of the shipwreck event and kind of the very cool little water stuff that we found out going on over there where you can't actually go deeper into the water and i mean like i'm saying it doesn't look like it should have been possible it looked like there was some sort of an invisible barrier we were able to pass thanks to shouts out to the chopper it's not the leviathan chopper but it's still a chopper god dang it and i appreciate that but definitely some interesting stuff over there that i'm interested to see how it could potentially apply into the future of last day on earth and how we might see some of those water levels and whatnot get incorporated and all that type of jazz but let me know what you guys think about I guess overall season one as well. What did you guys think of season one? How far did you guys get in these season one challenges? What did you guys manage to do in terms of like what are some of the best rewards and favorite rewards that you got? What were some of the favorite challenges you managed to do? How many notes did you manage to find? All this type of jazz. Just overall, what was your experience with season one? And what did you guys think of the wrecked ship boss battle? And of course, uh, what do you guys think about this very interesting thing where the wrecked ship uh continues to exist which i still like i just it's just, I like it's very odd okay oh okay these guys have zombies i will help you guys with your zombie problem let shot the gun rain there we go dealt with that problem while my shotgun rain regenerates i'll let them deal with that but yeah let me know what you guys think about season one about the shipwreck any and all that type of jazz and how it might very well apply towards the future and what you guys think of season two as well and the fact that it does not appear that season two started immediately after season one it does appear that we do need to wait for it so let me know about all that type of jazz in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly trial dollar as you touch please so a gift card giveaway all you got to do as well as make sure the like button make sure subscribe and then let sure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick random comment from that random video and that will be winner for the week and we'll kick off the weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that it does help you stay in the loop on and hello zombies i got some shotgun rain for you just give me un momento shotgun rain oh baby i just destroyed two of his friends and he does not seem to care because i was aiming at zombies oh baby that <laughs> we just figured out how to finesse some of these survivors and they will never have a stinking clue like look at this guy can we can we get one like can we get at least five likes on this video to help support this survivor because he doesn't seem to be the brightest bulb in the batch i literally just murdered in cold blood two of his friends and he's like oh i guess it's okay you say me at the zombies you know they they weren't gonna survive the apocalypse much longer anyway this guy's ruthless he doesn't seem to care at all he's not mourning their deaths or nothing he's just like oh yeah they're pretty much gonna be zombies at this point so you know what survivor you know what you get for your apparent lack of loyalty you know oh. 
from the likes I'm seeing in this video, apparently people are not a fan of you, Mr. Survivor. So in exchange, I must give to you a shotgun raid. Oh no, he survived. Okay, he's dead now. He's dead. He's dead. Hey, we got a pistol out of it too. Woohoo! Oh no, I'm getting hungry and thirsty. No, that's not good. Let's go ahead and drink up on some water, eat up on some carrot, and let's see what these other dead bodies dropped because for the most part, they are the survivors that are going to be dropping the goods. And we got ourselves a couple. Nothing super crazy though. Let's go and see what we got within these choppers over here. Chopper numero uno. What you got in store for me, bit? Ooh. Some katana tactical cap aluminium wire action and some gas that we could siphon. So don't mind me. Just got to grab a little bit of water to get the empty bottles. Uh, we'll spread a little bit of vitamin P on this pile of bodies. I almost said this body of piles. Whatever you want to call it. We'll just, we'll just spread a little bit of vitamin P over there and make sure that we can clear out some of this so we can then use all of these empty bottles for siphoning purposes. And then... Hmm, did I already loot you? No. Let's see what this bag has in there. Let's see what the chopper has, and then we'll go on. And we still got a couple of other things to hit up, including today's raid that we got to make sure to give a little bit of love to. So we'll grab... Yeah, I'll grab everything from there for now. And within the chopper, maybe like a full durability gun? Oh! Not necessarily, but... Some decent stuff within the crate. Little bit of uh, bauxite that is pretty much just aluminum waiting to be smelted and other jazz like that. And I think I need one more bottle. And there we have it. Ten entire bottles filled to the brim with gasoline that we are going to be sure to utilize. But without further ado, I believe that... Uh Marks it for us. I don't know why I ran this way. I just want to go back to my chopper. I think that's going to mark it. Not mark it. It's going to do it for us and this chopper event. But there are more events awaiting. I think there might be an airdrop somewhere. But more importantly, I saw military convoys somewhere. In military convoy. Oh, they are right next to each other. How convenient. Hello, hello, airdrop. And then military convoy. You will be mine in the nick of time. But while we go ahead and run on over there, like I'm saying, that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway and all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well like ancestors the humankind odyssey miss survival and even seven days to die let me just say i know we're in the middle of a huge season with that but the huge new alpha update for that is about to drop it's called alpha 18 and we got to start a new season when that drops so that might be prime time for a lot of y'all to go ahead and hop on the seven days to die train if you guys want to experience it from the beginning and kind of watch us build up to this like fully automated defense system surviving huge zombie hordes attacking us every week like it's all sorts of cool jazz that i think you guys will enjoy not to mention miss survival and the base building and zombie survival and soon to be raider attacks we're doing over there and then ancestors where we're literally evolving our ancient tribe and they are learning to freaking craft they're learning to do all sorts of just like advanced stuff that is insane to bear witness to and it's like a pretty hardcore game in terms of like it's not very forgiving and it doesn't really tell you how to do anything but as you figure it out you literally feel like you are evolving the wild star it's evolving. Oh, baby, that's right. The evolution is only going up from here. Now, I don't exactly know what to get rid of because I do want to grab the paint. So, goodbye, empty bottles. I'm sorry. I got some more water. And if I need bottles, I could just drink that water. Let's get out of here. And ultimately, let's go over to the convoy. And let's have that notification bell hit as well because it's a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information as soon as any type of info does come out about Last Day on Earth, about future updates, about anything regarding the game we're spread it to y'all eyes and ears absolutely asap showing off gameplay sneak peeks previews screenshots all that type of jazz so you guys know exactly what is going on in the game what is going to be coming in the future of the game and then of course breaking down and analyze that info to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth and of course when those new updates when they decide to come out oh baby that's when the fun begins because that's when it's, uh, that's when update days happen and whenever new updates come out oh baby that's when we make all sorts of videos covering all the new jazz that these updates do bring and show off new boss battles new locations new enemies new weapons everything if something is new it is getting shown up and we are gonna have an absolutely fan freaking tastic time too and i know that rhymed right in celebration of my rhymes, let me just go and shoot a bunch of random raiders. What is up, my dudes? Okay, you, I, I don't, it's always hilarious to me how, like, the boss raider, the guy at the end who's like, oh, this is my, this is my bag, bro, this is my dead body with a severed finger on it. Well, no severed finger today, but um, I'm protecting the best loot, bro, me and my, uh, my Winchester. Yeah, I'm intimidating. Ooga, booga, booga. Just like, oh, I'm, I'm not scared of you, bro. The Winchester, 
That, that's a glorified Nerf gun compared to some of the other stuff that we're bringing to the table, okay? Some of his freaking lackeys got significantly better stuff. Just like, dang, brother, what is you doing? Also, this convoy is going to be sticking around for a while. So, worst in case, if we can't pick up everything at once, what I will be able to do is actually just... And I do want to kind of prioritize paints a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But what we should be able to do is literally just come back here like after we are done raiding and after we are done with the episode i could just come back here and grab a lot of this extra stuff so if you do see me like star how could you leave behind the two scrap metal i'll be like okay calm down ah we'll return all right scuba mess star is on a mission and right now that mission involves getting the best loot first and foremost and clearing out this location and then coming back later when the uh when it's a little bit more cleared out and stuff like that and also this thing is literally one bullet away from breaking so i put you away for now comrade i apologize but don't need you at the moment please leave message after the beep beep after the burp please leave message after the burp <laughs> and let's see what we got in the rest of these chests but seriously with season two especially when season two comes out and especially as you know the new weeks come out of the season we'll continue covering all that those weeks do bring to the table how to do the new challenges any new boss battles all that type of jazz and just having an absolute Absolutely glorious time throughout it all so hopefully y'all stay tuned for it because plenty of fun times to come um i'll probably end up coming back for the plate uh, you just drop poopy armor that's the thing about the military convoy all the armor that they drop is like absolutely destroyed bro and i ain't a fan of destroyed armor i, I, li I like my armor intact it, it tends to be a lot more useful when it isn't already filled to the brim with bullet holes and or machete slices because i'm gonna get myself into situations where i need to have my armor unsliced so it can then protect me when I get sliced, you know, just kind of future proof in a little bit. Now, these boots are a little bit better than mine. I'll pick those up for now. I'll leave behind the wires and the transistors. Yeah, yeah, I'll leave those behind for now. Actually, mm, nah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll pick the transistors up for now because I already got like a full durability pair of military pantalones. I will return for those, if anything. Over here we got, yeah, nothing that great. Although I am a fan of the rubber parts and yeah. Honestly, I'll go ahead and get rid of that, pick up the Winchester, and I'll probably come back for that armor as well. Because the Winchester, even though it is probably one of the poopiest guns out there, it's almost on that zip gun tier in terms of lol. <laughs> but it does still have its uses, including actually being able to scrap it to level up the gun skill of your recycler. And, I mean, there are some pretty cool mods you could put on it. I'm, as always, trying to work towards them. I'm just kind of the Winchester's pretty low on my list of priorities in terms of working towards mods. But, like, I could show you guys, for example, let's follow me on home really quickly. And then while we prepare for the base raid of today, we could also go ahead and, dude, th this thing's still over here, man. Like, I'm very curious to see what happens with that. Because today, when I'm recording this, is a Sunday. So, like, Kafir's not home to, like, it did, like, to make it disappear not home but i guess they're not in office you know kafir is not in the office they are i'm assuming enjoying their weekend right now being with their family being with their kids all that type of jazz like that and hopefully it's going to glorious but like for the most part whenever a timer disappears like we have seen events literally disappear off the map so the fact that the shipwreck is still there is just so interesting to me man like i'm a little bit baffled by it and like i feel like there might be more to it than what we're seeing right now, you know? Like, if the shipwreck is somehow gonna be a permanent event that will maybe evolve even further as the next season comes, that'd be really cool to actually see the shipwreck be like a part of the season two story as well. But back to what we were saying with the Winchester, there's some very cool mods. I still I've, I still have not gotten the mod or the blueprint for this thing. I wish, because that one looks really nice, but they're all, all, there are all sorts of pretty cool mods that you could create. I can't wait till there's active skill Winchesters and what those decide to bring to the table. The silencer looks really freaking cool. There's a couple of these different handles that are nice. And of course, dude, this scope looks insane bro but the winchester active skill mod that's another cool thing to keep our eyes and ears peeled upon but okie dokie without further ado i'm gonna prepare for this raid and talk to y'all in a sec and speaking of weapon mods why don't we go ahead and toss a couple onto the weapons we are going to be utilizing in today's raid hello you wonderfully red saw blade mace and hello to one of my favorite and honestly go-to weapons in the last day on earth universe the fully modded pistol drizzle Mwah. it is a thing of beauty you know what else is a thing of beauty what we got in the back of our chopper right now this is pure glory 
in its unadulterated form. Let's just go ahead and craft up some of the hatchets we're going to need because you never want to be crafting hatchets while you are at a raid. That creates unnecessary noise. And today, we are going to need every little bit of noise that we can spare because there are a lot of chests for us to break into. So without further ado, chugga, 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 choo, choo. Let's make our way over to this raid and see what it's all about, Mr. I think his name's like Arturo or something like that. What up, Arturo? Oh, he's got the X's around his name. Oh, if this was Modern Warfare 2, I'd be horrified. He's the type of dude that hits you with the 360 no scope double wide tap 1600 Microsoft point type shot, man. Like this is this is the type of stuff where the kill cams are horrifyingly good. So Arturo, uh, I'm a little bit scared of him. I'm, I'm shaking in my feet. Guys, if, if, if you can help calm me down. Oh, oh nothing like a couple likes on the video. Oh, nothing like smashing that like button to calm me down. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a YouTuber. What can I say, guys? Like, YouTubers, I'm pretty sure it's, it's just a scientifically proven fact. Their lifeblood is, uh, likes, you know? It's, uh, scientifically proven by scientists in the science community. <laughs> But alright, bad memes aside, let's grab what we need to do today's damage. I do not believe we need the C4, which is gonna be good because it's always a great day in Starville when you can actually save the C4 for bigger raids that have a poop ton of stuff inside of them. And even if this base does end up being disappointing, which I don't think it will be, my hopes are actually kind of kind of looking nice for this because uh, it's a good chunk of chest. We should be able to break into every single one before things hit the fan. But, uh, yeah, anytime I could avoid using C4, hello! Woo! Already off to a pretty good start. Hello, M16! This is not a revenge raid, so that M16 is not one of ours that was stolen. That is one of this bases that we are taking for ourselves. Now, we are about to be dealing with the next wave of zombies. Now, another good news is that this is... Whoop! That's a bear rolling out of there. This is the type of a raid where the zombies, or should I say the base, does all the work for you if you do it right. No, 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 no. Let's yuke you guys. Because due to all the spikes... <laughs> due to... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, due to all of the spikes that are surrounding this base, as you guys are seeing, a lot of zombies will drop dead. Oh, I know. Oh, so good. So good, baby. A lot of the zombies will drop dead. And, uh, well, we don't have to do all that damage to them. Rather, the base does a lot of the damage to them for us. Now, we're finding a couple of medical supplies and kind of more worthwhile things. This looks like a pretty scattered base, though. Definitely not that organized. Looks like my base on a smaller scale, to be completely honest. My base is the organizational skills of a rock. You ever seen a rock try to organize anything? It doesn't. Because it's a rock! It cannot organize things! That's me. I'm just physically incapable of it. What can I say? Uh, let's grab a couple of these things. Eh, hey, I'll put that away for now. Maybe come back to it a little bit later. We're about... After this chest... After... After two more chests, actually. We're gonna be halfway... Whoa! Aluminum plates and oak planks. Mm, I'm a fan of that. Always, whenever we can get some precious metals that are higher tier than iron, me likey. Me likey a lot. Eh, nothing super amazing in there. Hello, zombies. I see you, dudes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, baby, that is a big stream of zombies. Let's go and run around a little bit. And hopefully have them running into all sorts of spikes like that. Hopefully they don't catch up to me. Ow, one of them caught up to me. Because whenever they catch up to me, they damage me. And it makes it... Ooh! Ah, dang it. Even the floor brother got a hit off on me. It just makes it slightly more annoying for me to do my thing. But there we go. Hopefully that barrel roll there should have dealt with the last of those. Then we just got a couple of floater bloaters. You, I will saw in half. Oh, no. We survived the sawing. Ah! There we go. We didn't survive the pistol in, though. Shouts out to the drizzle, baby. Always coming up clutch. And boop. You are taken out as well. And all right. Did I check what was in here? I didn't give it a good look, really. Eh, because, probably because there was nothing good to look at. But that's okay. We still got five more chests that are prime candidates for good stuff to be hiding within. And a couple of workbenches that do have me... Eh, they got my hopes up a little bit. Your berries, by the way, I will devour them. And thank you for the fuel. And thank you for not turning them into berry tea. Like a civilized person who likes to heal when he eats his berries. Because berry tea does not heal. You see that? I healed! That's not something you'll be able to do with berry tea. So, mm, I'm kind of just saying. 
If you're ever thirsty, just drink some water and last down. Or don't freaking cook your berries, bro. It hurts. It hurts to see berries get cooked into tea. Like, it's probably delicious. But unfortunately, we don't have a taste bud meter. We got a hunger meter. We got a health meter. And we got a thirst meter. So guess what? I don't care how it tastes like. You drinking water and you eating berries. And there ain't no way around it. Capuche, not capuche, capiche? <laughs> capuche, why does capuche sound like the funniest word that doesn't exist? Capuche? <laughs> I might need to start saying that instead of capiche. I never even said capiche, but the fact that I just invented capuche. I think capiche slash capuche might need to be added to the dictionary of Papa Star. All right, let's go ahead and bring these dudes and dudettes for a ring around the god darn rosy. Yeah. Because this Rosie is looking very spiky. Actually, ring around. I guess it's more of a rose in that case. Because roses do have uh, pretty spiked stems. Because every time it's Valentine's Day and I buy some roses for Bay, well, I kind of accidentally stab myself on the roses. I'm always like checking out at freaking like Walmart or whatever. I don't remember where I buy the flowers from, okay? It's on a case by case basis, all right? Super top secret. I can't disclose where I'm buying my flowers, man. Otherwise, the everyone will know about the hottest flower spot. So we'll say. Uh, not Walmart. Let's let's call it Flower Mart, right? Whenever I'm checking out at Flower Mart, you know, I'm I'm grabbing the roses. Ow! What's that? I stab myself with the petals. Not the petals. Oh dear, Mama, that would be horrifying if the petals were sharp. The stem. It's got like little thorns on it. And for that, roses. You're absolutely lovely. But let me just say, you are a douche canoe before having a stabby stem. Okay? Like, why does your stem need to be stabby? Come on! It's absolutely rude. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a dingus who can never grab a rose. Oh, listen, I've been improving. I've been improving. I've been grabbing a little bit better, but let's be honest. I'm probably a pretty big dingus and whoa! Hello, Steel. I know it's only one plate, but listen. From some of the kind of high tier, like top of the top, like the best stuff out of this raid that we have gotten, I would probably say are these four things. For a raid that required zero, I repeat, zero C4. That is pretty nice because I have been disappointed by raids quite a little bit lately. But if this is the type of raid that I could be getting consistently where I don't need to use C4 and I'm getting multiple pretty valuable things out of it, that's pretty good in my book. But hokey dokey. Uh, besides that, I suppose at this point, I just got to kind of start figuring out what exactly I want to take out of this base. Because we got a couple of nails over there that I guess we could take, but... Nah, oh yeah, and let's make sure that we actually put some stuff away into our chopper We want to put the most valuable out of everything that we have gotten because this is a raider that we we did not get This as a revenge raid. So because of that we need to be careful Of the fact that the raiders are gonna be asking for their quote-unquote a fair share and see in my eyes their fair share Zero, but unfortunately their eyes are different and they have multiple people who are ready to raid my base. So we kind of got to compromise in terms of where we're seated. We got we to gotta look cross-eyed for a little bit, okay? But so hopefully all of that cross-eyedery will bring us to common grounds. To common terms where we can kind of agree on what to give them. Unfortunately, our crossed eyes cannot look inside of my chopper. So whatever we put in here, they don't know about baby. So I think they value wrenches kind of highly. I didn't see an electronic circuit. I know they always, I think they freaking worship the electronic circuit gods or something because like it's pretty, they, they value them way too highly, man. Like they seriously value electronic circuits suspiciously high. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of grab whatever I can from here and kind of get to the bottom of that. I will not break the woodworking bench. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna kind of take my time and grab what we can from here. And all right, did we get the best stuff in the universe? Let's be honest, probably not, but out of what this base was offering, I'm pretty happy with what we're walking out of here with. I'll go ahead and- Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I could only eat one of those canned foods, unfortunately. <laughs> Feels bad, bad, but we'll go ahead and bust into this then, and after that, we got to run a lot, because the big one is going to be making his appearance, and oh, we got some planks. Honestly, I'll just get rid of that, and I will be making my exit from there. See ya. Oh my god, I split that gap, and they didn't hurt me. Oh, baby, can we get out of here totally unscathed? Let's freaking go. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a great escape that you all have bad witness to today. And now you will bear witness to me walking my booty back home. And with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.